All right, so how much is one-third of one-half? In order to solve this, I need to multiply one-third times one-half by my answer. So I'm multiplying fractions, so I multiply straight across. One times one is one. Three times two is six. So my answer is one-sixth. If you think about it visually, it's asking one-third of one-half. So if I have a half, like this fraction, or this picture, I need a third of it. So that means I need to split this half into thirds, and I want one of those, which is not one-third, if you look at the whole thing and make it all equal parts, it's one-sixth of this entire whole, which is the same as saying it's one-third of half of that whole. Let's think about it with a whole number multiplied by a half. So if I say three times one-half, I can think of it as three copies, or three groups, three copies of this half. So that would look like this. Here's one half, and another copy of it, then another copy of it. I have three halves, which if you add them together, half plus half is one, plus a half, you get one and a half. So here it's three copies of a half, 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 half. What about two and a half halves? Two and a half times a half. Well, that's two and a half copies of a half. So you could once again think of it like this. There's one half, there's two halves, and now in this one, I only need half of the half, which is a fourth. So when I get my answer here, when I'm multiplying, think of it as two halves plus a quarter, so that's one and one fourth. So in this example, where I have a number that is less than one, I have one third, I don't have any full copies of a half like I did over here. I have less than that. I only have a third of that half. In this example, we can think of it as three copies of a half, like this. So three copies of a half was one and a half. And down here, it was two and a half copies of a half was one and one fourth. Over here, this is a fraction, this is less than one. So it's only one third copied of a half, which gave us one sixth. So why does of mean multiply? Well, we can think about it in the whole number world. We were thinking of it as three copies, like three halves. And it applies still here with two fractions. This of is just shorthand for a third of a copy of this half, or whatever the fractions may be, but in this case, third of. 